Hello everyone, my name is Christian Negulescu and I did a lot of uh, video about UAPAT. One of the last video it was this one with 800 YouTube answers for, um, uh, for UAPAT. So basically, you have a database where uh, you go and you have uh, very fast answers for, uh, for UAPAT, something um, like this. You go on the um, uh, UAPAT uh, assistant, in my case, um, this will start a robot and let's say that I want to work with uh, AI Center and on AI Center, I want to see how to add a training data set. And the system will open a YouTube with exactly the second where uh, someone uh, show me this stuff. Yeah? So in this case, probably it's uh, JP that uh, show me exactly how to add a, a training data set. Okay. So I received a question, how do I build this stuff? So to be able to build this stuff, I have here an Excel file where I have part of the movies and um, uh, I have you have all the list to, um, with exactly second from the movie where uh, you have this one so let's understand how we build this stuff so if I go here on a video like JP video that I showed you to be able to build this stuff you can see that uh, this one has ch chapters here yeah so basically I will go I have an uh, a workflow here that uh, is very simple. I create a data table. I will uh, uh, I will attach the web, web browser to this data table. Then I will go and check these elements. Yeah. So I will um, um, go and search for uh, for this element. So I open this. Uh, uh, let's close this one. I open the details and on the details you have you see there uh, there are uh, chapters yeah so basically I go and inspect the uh, uh, the elements and on the elements I will be able to extract the the time and the name yeah so doing this stuff with extracting the uh, the time and the name I will get the attributes I have an increment and I will do this on a loop and this will extract me everything on um, uh, uh, um, on a data table. So here, if you take a look here, I have a conversion to be able to, to convert from um, minutes to uh, to seconds, yeah, to have full seconds. And the result, I will, they will extract it on CSV, uh, result to CSV, yeah. So if I run this one, uh, let's uh, go here and uh, I will go on the, uh, on the location where um, I have the, um, the data. So you'll see here that on the test, I don't have any results file. So I don't have any, any results file. Uh, I will go hit run. And uh, the system will go to the uh, YouTube uh, the YouTube page. And he will extract all the chapters like this. Yeah, with the data extraction and extract uh, all the data from there. And after this, the system will create me a result file. And uh, so it's done. The, on the result file, um, I go here on test. Look, I have the result too. So on the result too, I will have all this data, yeah? So I will copy the data from here that I want the machine learning, blah, blah. So I have everything. I will copy paste. I will go to my file that, uh, um, that it's working with, uh, with the system. I will say here, uh, Let's say new, I will create a new sheet. Uh, on the new sheet, I will put the um, the data. It's uh, creating the new uh, sheet one, okay? And here I will, I will put the data extracted by the by the robot. Let's uh, copy paste the. Um, I have to copy paste. I don't need to copy like this. I have to copy paste like this. Done. I copy paste this one, and what I need to provide here, I, I don't need on I don't do it on the automation because it's simple to do it uh, uh, with the hand. You can create the automation for this. You just copy the uh, ID of the movie. You copy the ID of the movie, and uh, um, copying the ID of the movie, putting here. So basically, you have now a list with uh, all the stuff from JP, and you have everything addressable. So when you'll go there, he will go to exactly second and so on. Let's take another movie. I have here a, um, a movie from Gabi, yeah? and um, with UiPath hacks. 
And you see here, you don't have chapters, but the system is intelligent and you can have key moments. So the YouTube, YouTube algorithm extract key moments. <sighs> and you can extract this key moment. So basically you will go to, um, to the same workflow. On the workflow, you indicate that I want to extract the data from this web page. Done. You done. And then uh, you'll do the same stuff. So here, you basically, you, you have a get attribute. And on this get attribute, uh, um, the target, it's the element from there. And I have an index. Yeah, So I have an, uh, um, uh, uh, an index where, uh, you see, I move the uh, that index yeah, to be able to to jump from one to another, to be able to uh, to jump from uh, from all the all this stuff, yeah. So if I run it, I will go to my uh, result file. I will close this result file. I will say don't save. Uh, I will go run the uh, the project. I'll run the project and uh, um, let's wait. We'll have a new result file. Refresh. So we'll see when the project is end. And we'll have a new result file and the system will extract the, uh, the data from, uh, from this one. And you see, you don't have chapters, so basically, uh, it's working also with uh, key moments that are generated by YouTube. Oh, it's uh, let's give him uh, because on JP it was uh, maybe I don't indicate well the um, the screen. Let's indicate this one. Let's run it. And uh, uh, maybe I don't indicate the well the um, uh, the web page uh, the exactly the web page. So I'll go here on this one, and you can see here the uh, all the chapters from Gabi. Yeah? So you don't you don't need the intro. I will take uh, all this one. Control C. Uh, I will go to the um, Excel file of the. Uh, of this thing, I will put the ID of the movie. Control C, uh, Control V, and in this way I build the uh, database. Yeah. Here I just need to copy. Not. Uh... Okay, so I build I build the database with um, with all the data. So in this way. You are able to use the um, the structure that I I share with you on the um, on the GitHub for this um, eight hundred videos, and you are able to extract data from which video you want. And basically, you will have um, uh, a data structure very easy access from the robot from here instead of going to YouTube searching stuff. Don't give you the the right stuff. So. In this way, you are able to extract the chapters and so on. And maybe you can use it for other stuff, not only for UiPath training. As usual, if you like my movies, thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Subscribe to my channel and stay safe. Bye-bye.